Okay, here we have a performance task in Algebra 1 involving the relationship between the area and perimeter. In this case, it's going to be a rectangle. From this problem, we see that Tex, the owner of the house, wants to build a lawn in front. And it's going to be 10 feet by 30 feet um, piece of sod, which is grass. It's going to cost uh, $200. But then he decides a week later he wants to double his dimensions, make it a larger piece of grass, and it's going to be 20 feet by 60 feet. And from the problem, it sends in $400 figuring. It just doubles the cost. However, the sod company calls him and lets him know he hasn't sent in enough money. Our problem is we want, that we want to solve is we want to figure out how much money does he owe and why does he owe that much more money. So from the original dimensions, we know that he's going to build a 10 feet by 30 feet piece of grass, which is represented by this rectangle right here. And we can put 10 and 30 up here for the other dimensions to show it's a true rectangle. But we want to find the area of that rectangle. And we know that for the area of a rectangle, it's going to be representative by length times width. The length in our case being 30, and the width is being 10. So 30 times 10, which is equal to 300, in this case, 300 square feet. But when he doubles the dimensions of the new piece of grass, which we can represent with this triangle. We know it's going to be 20 feet by 60 feet. So again, we want to find the area, and we're going to do 20 times 60. And 20 times 60 would be equal to 1,200. So the area has increased by you know, a factor of 4, whereas we saw the dimensions increase by a factor of 2. So now we want to show how much more money will he owe on this piece of grass. So we can use proportion problem. Scroll down here, get some more space. And we can set up a proportion with our original rectangle, which was the area was represented by 300 square feet. And the cost from the original problem was $200. And that's going to be equal to the new area of the piece of grass, which is 1,200 square feet. And we don't know the cost of the piece of grass for the new dimension, so we can just represent that with x. Now using cross multiplication, we can do x times 300, which would be 300x. And we can set that equal to 200 times 1,200, $200 times 1,200 square feet, which would be equal to 24,000. Now to get x by itself, we can divide both sides by 300. And 300 goes into 24,800 times. So the new cost of the grass is $800. So we know his cost is going to be 800. But we want to subtract the original amount he sent in, which was $400. And of course, $800 minus $400 is just $400. So we know from this problem that Tex needs to send an additional $400 to cover his new dimensions of the grass.